special guest, but before I introduce her and my co-host, I am Coach Mac, the founding health coach of Running With Bacon, where I help women feel like themselves again, one small step at a time. And like I said, our co-host Renata is here with us as always. Ooh, I'm Renata. <laughs> <laughs> I am an intuitive nutrition coach with Nourish with Renata, and I'm here to empower women with their nutrition by nourishing not only their bodies, but also their minds and their spirits too. So good. And our special guest, the last couple of videos, she has had questions for us, but like I mentioned, she has been a client and friend and coach to us, and we actually wanted to hear a little bit more about you and your story. So Mary, would you mind telling us about your little journey that you've been on these past couple of years? Yeah, sure. I would love to. Um, first of all, I'm Mary Hopper. I'm an author of uh, Lighten Up Your Life, and I blog at maricina.com. And yeah, I love to help women slow down and enjoy each moment. Um, so just get that really in there. And then, so my journey, it all started, well, it's been a lifelong journey, but I would say it kind of came to a head about two years ago. Um, I, well, I lost my mom. And so that was a really hard time in my life. And I was actually caring for her and, a uh, young baby, a little baby infant. She, my, Clara was 10 months old when my mom passed. So as you may see from that, I wasn't really caring for myself because I was busy caring for everybody else. But um, I realized that I needed to do something, but I didn't really know what. And then around that same time, um, Mackenzie and Renata both asked me to be guest speakers in their groups that they have, their memberships that they or their group programs that they had created. <clears throat> and that's kind of where things started to shift for me. I would say I started to be involved in these programs. And I just remember when Mackenzie asked me to be part of the program, I got, I got in this, in it with this, this group of women. And I was like, well, I'm going to go in and just present, but I'm really not going to do the actual program. But she was so generous and invited me to do the program <laughs> with, <laughs> with everybody. Um, but then, so as I was in there a week and these women were talking about the workouts they were doing and they were like excited. And I was like, well, wait a minute. Like, I need to know what these workouts mean and what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so then I started doing the workouts and I could be in the conversation, which was really exciting. Um, and then I decided, you know what, this is something I really need. So I did end up paying for the program, um, because it was something I knew I needed to commit to myself. And a lot of times if I invest in myself, then it feels like a more legit commitment, I guess. <laughs> and I'm more willing to, and, and more, I'll, I'll follow through with it if I've invested some money into it. So I did Mackenzie's program called the summer slim down. And that was three months of um, movement every day. And she curated the workouts and it was exactly what I needed to kind of get the ball rolling. I also, around the same time, was working with Renata on some um, nutrition, intuitive nutrition sessions. We did a lot of uh, deeper work where we went to like 10-year-old Mary, which is really hard stuff, especially as you're like grieving. And But it was the perfect time to kind of bring up some of these things and, and work through them. So um, that was so helpful. And then uh, in February of this year, I actually did an elimination diet with, with um, Renata's help, which was so helpful. Um, just gave me so much information and tools, information on my own body, not on what I should be eating on. It, it gave me information on what my body, what foods my body likes and what foods feel good for me and what foods nourish me and what foods don't. And then it helps me make decisions. I I've got some incentive or I've got some sensitivities to some foods and then I can avoid them. And anyway, so the information I got from working with Renata and doing that elimination diet was so helpful. And in the meantime, I then did two more of Mackenzie's programs. I'm also in her membership. Um, so for 18 months, I would say I've, I've, been working out every day, moving my body in some way. Um, mostly the workouts that Mackenzie gave, but I also did your strength program. So I've done a lot of, a lot of most of everything you guys have put out there. I've done <laughs> and it's worked. It's helped. It's so good. Um, so yeah, that's been my, my journey. 
Um, I think it's really interesting. I sent both of you a before and after picture and I look like a totally different person. Um, and what I see mostly, I, I almost, I think I weigh about the same that I did. Um, I kind of came down, I've been down 10 pounds, but now I'm kind of back up in the winter time. I gain a little more, but working with both of you, I've realized that weight or the number on the scale is just a number. It's a way to measure. It's not the definition of how healthy you are. Um, in fact, I, I think I weigh about the same that I did when I started, but I feel I'm a, I, like I said, I'm a completely different person. My energy is different. Um, I show up different. I'm just, I'm living a different life and it feels really good. So thank you both. <laughs> oh, I love hearing that. And you answered something that I think is especially important about what the results were. And so part of that is absolutely physical. I think also your strength has increased tremendously. I think your vigor for life has increased tremendously. But also I'm curious, like how has that impacted like your mental, emotional and spiritual health too? I'm writing down uh, vigor for life because I love that. That's awesome. Thank you for that. Like, You're welcome. Um, it has changed completely my mental health. I, I now connect my physical movement with my mental state. If I, like when I go to spin class in the morning, I have the best day after it because I have moved my body. I've challenged myself. I've taken that time just for me, the music, all of the combination of everything in spin. When I get home, I just, I'm, it's the exercise high that we all talk about. I really feel that. And I, I'm, I just want that every day. So the first thing I do when I wake up is I move my body in some way. So I really, yeah. that's been a huge, and then the spiritual piece of it, like I have really connected with like my spirit um, guides and I do a lot of Oracle readings and I connected with the moon and mother earth and all of the things that make me feel me nature. I love to be outside in nature. And I really, I, I receive a lot of messages and guidance when I'm connected to the moon, especially. I love the moon. <laughs> She's I love so that. awesome. <laughs> I mean, of course. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> so I, think, I think what's really lovely too, is that you've really become so much more in tune with the foods that work so well for your body. And that's such a testament, number one, to your commitment, but number two, to your, like your willingness to try to experiment, to do something different than the norm. So I'm super thrilled that you were able to share your story because I think it's so important for everyone to understand that their health journey is their own. And so what might work for me is different from what might work for Mac or for Mary. And so it really is this deeply personal journey where all facets of life Start to you start to see the connection between your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health, and it can absolutely transform everything moving forward. It is so good and so proud of you for all the work that you've done. I mean, it's great. You know, we can sit here and say that, yeah, oh, we did that, no, but we did it. <laughs> you did the work, <laughs> you did the hard part. And it was just really a cool transformation to see you trusting the process and really becoming a better version of yourself. So it's not like there was something wrong with you before. It was just, you knew you wanted more. You wanted yep. to keep bettering yourself. You wanted that. And there's so many people out there that, that I know Renata's talked about it before, but that women just feel exhausted and almost stuck and like, and wanting more for themselves. And you trusted the process and let it happen and did the work. And here you are on you know the other side of two years and feel like a completely different person I think it's amazing so big yeah. kudos to you <laughs> thank you thank you and to wrap it up we actually have because this is our Q&A series so we actually have some rapid fire questions planned for you Mary so Renata is gonna go first I just put Renata <laughs> on the spot <laughs> But okay. we're just going to go rapid fire questions. Renata's going to rattle off hers and then I'm going to rattle off mine and we will wrap it up. Awesome. Okay, Mary, are you ready? I, I'm i nervous, but I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You first know my question. willingness to try things I don't really like or know what's going to happen. It's I'm just not. I'll get <laughs> no there. That's, it's that's coming up in one of the questions. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. First question. If you could have an unlimited supply of one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? 
Oh my gosh. Um, really delicious homegrown berries. Oh yeah. And right. Like berries. strawberries mm-hmm. and raspberries and blueberries. So it's like, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit because I want like <laughs> all the berries, but can you imagine like every morning, like picking every morning, like in December and in like picking like fresh, yummy berries to eat every morning. So um, me, I'll take it. We just need to move to Mackenzie's <laughs> where she's growing berries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't get to eat them all year round either. This is true. Like, yeah, that, yeah. So that would be it. That would be it. That's a good one. Okay. Now to kind of tie into something that you mentioned earlier, what food that I told you about that you initially thought sounded absolutely disgusting and awful. You then so tried many things. and then like so many things. <laughs> One food in particular, I'm very texture averse. So uh chia pudding. I was very against and not having it. And every time Renata mentioned it, I was like, ew, gross. No. Yeah, yuck, no, ew. And so when I did try to make it and I liked it, and then I found a recipe that I loved. And yeah, I haven't made it for a while, but I do know that I love it. So <laughs> yeah, and darn. that's just one of the many, the many recipes. Many, that, many. Basically, yeah. how it worked when Renata and I were working together is she would tell me something and I would say, no, I can't do that, or no, that's silly, or no, that's gross. I won't eat that. And then I don't know, after a little while, I just, I just eat it and yeah. love it. <laughs> and I would and have to say, you have to say, we eat a lot more fish in my house than we mm-hmm. ever did before. So, yeah. And this is important because you told me that you hated fish. I am very important. <laughs> Okay, next question. So, you know, oftentimes during, especially during this holiday season, we tend to quote unquote fall off of the wagon. So what is Mm. one phrase that you tell yourself to get yourself back on the wagon? Um, Lately, I have, I just read the book Good Inside by Dr. Becky Kennedy. And so my mantra lately is I'm, I am good. I'm just having a hard time or I am, I, I use it in parenting a lot because that's where most of my struggles come in. <laughs> so I tell myself that I am a good parent, but I'm having a hard time if I'm struggling. Um, so when I, if I'm struggling with anything else, I like to tell myself that too. Like, I'm just having a hard time, but if this isn't how it always is, right? This yeah. is just right now I'm having a hard time, but I'm still good. Yeah. I love that reminder. Okay. Yeah. Fourth question. What is the most surprising thing that you've discovered about yourself during the self journey? I am funny. I am so funny. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I told you. (laughs) Yeah. Um, (laughs) Like not what I was thinking, but, but I think there is something to be said about that. Cause I, I think like, I think about myself two years ago, like I struggled to find joy and happiness and laughter. And I mean, I had moments of it, but when you're so, so sad, you're so lost in your grief and struggling, you know, you just miss the person or thing or whatever it is that you're grieving. Um, it's really hard to see, to see the light. It's hard to see joy. And so I think I just, I'm so much lighter and um, able to like my heart feels open and um, that feels good because it hasn't been open in a long time so Aww. yeah okay last say. question yeah last question if there was one thing you wanted to pass on to your kids about health hmm. based upon everything that you've learned over the last couple of years what would that be it's health is it's funny because I'm writing a book on this oh, <laughs> was, that hey. your, was that your um intent uh yeah that's my second book I'm hoping to pass on some advice to my children um but yeah health and that is I've got the book is based on four big life truths and truth number one is health is your num has to be your number one priority it's the only thing that you have if you don't have your health you have nothing so health is, is number one and health okay. is so many things, not just physical, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So good. good. Well, I had a very different idea of rapid fire questions. So my <laughs> questions are a little different than Renata's. I love it. Okay. Bring it on. Here we go. What's your favorite color? 
Oh, the first thing that comes to mind is purple, but I wear a lot of blue. Ooh, okay. I, I think like it. I think I like I've loved purple since I was little. And so I think when I hear that question, purple comes out. But like if I'm going to choose what I'm gonna wear, like I wear blue, a lot of blue, lots of different shades of blue. Noted. What yeah. is your least favorite word? Um gosh least favorite word I don't know <laughs> people have weird ones that they think just sound gross like the word moist is well yeah, that was what came I'm to mind of. but I don't really not like it like that was like I think that's other people's not favorite word but I mean <laughs> I don't know I'll I come back to that I okay. love all I do. I'm a writer. I love words. <laughs> okay. Noted. Which that superhero is... resonates with you the most? Oh, geez. I don't know anything about superheroes. I don't watch any of those movies. Um, I don't What would you say for me? What superhero? Oh, for you. I was about to say for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to hear yours too. I don't know anything about the superheroes. I would say, do. yeah, you know, like the cliche ones. It could be, you know, like Catwoman or Superman or Spider Man or Thor or the Hulk or I don't know. But I actually, for you, I would say of the X Men, you know, Storm, like the one who who can yeah, like I don't know the X Men. <laughs> yeah. Well, Shoot. that's what I would say for you. So <laughs> okay. if you don't have one, that could be yours. <laughs> okay, thank you for answering that question for me. <laughs> if you could visit anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Hmm like somewhere I've never been or yes. yep. okay I'd like to go to Greece Ooh. yeah we actually were watching a show on Australia last night though and I was like hmm, we should probably go to Australia hmm. I agree you yeah. did yeah so is it Greece or that, Australia <laughs> I mean it's both there's a lot of places like Costa Rica would be one there's a lot of places I'd like to go okay and then last yeah. question what is your favorite season hmm Gosh, I like them all for all <laughs> very different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I really like the slowness of winter. I really do. There's a lot of things about winter that I really love. Well, Seems well, like a good answer to me. Winter. Winter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Mary, for being here and sharing your story with us and humoring us with our rapid fire questions. <laughs>